Passing through a tornado, we arrive in Nashville, a city built on entertainment, tourism, and general wonderlust. But the sinew that binds all these fibers together is music. How can you live without music? You can't. You just can't do it. Our heartbeat is music. Boom, boom, boom. It's like a drum. Boom, boom. If that heartbeat, that drum, boom, boom, that sound stops, you're dead. It's sad for us that we can't, we're a tourist town and that we can't have our tourists come down and have fun, listen to music, that's what we're here for, and uh, celebrate life. When you work, you want to celebrate. I've been here going into my 23rd, 24th year. I'm probably one of the smallest businesses down here. The only female bar owner. I've always been a workhorse, not a show horse. So for me to be not working, I'm bored out of my skull. I mean, this is, this is our life, our livelihood. I think it's time to be open. We've, we've paid our dues as far as realizing what this virus can do to us. The ball is in our court. We have to be smart and safe about things. Tourism is what has put, you know, Nashville on the map because of the music, because of the tradition, because of the things that Nashville offers. Without the tourism, Nashville wouldn't be Nashville. And the city, I think, has forgot that. We're the first ones they shut down, and one of the last ones they're letting open because we have musicians. I don't know what the musicians do more than bring the tourism. We've cashed in two retirement accounts in order to help some of our employees out, and so we can't keep dipping, otherwise we're not going to have anything if we can't open for another month or two or three. I mean, we're there on reserve funds for sure. We're definitely in a time that it's, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of unknown. Um, the only way to know what it's going to look like is to open. I have hope in knowing that it'll, it'll, it'll build itself back up. There might be changes that are forced by this, but we'll, we'll be okay. We'll come back. Fun is essential. I mean, if we go through a summer where these kids have been laid off or not been going to school, and then all summer they can't go to theme parks and have fun, what's the point? I mean, at some point there's a little bit of risk, but there's a lot of reward. Kids need to have fun. Every amusement industry across the board, whether it's major theme parks or small entertainment centers like this, we thrive off of our summers. So our, our season is shorter than most, where everybody else's jobs, they, uh, they're year round, where we're trying to make you know, 70, 80 percent of our revenue between Memorial Day and Labor Day. So we want to pack as many people in here, and when that cuts into our season, then it's going to affect all of us. We're a tourist-based economy in Nashville. We've got to start somewhere, and I think opening back up is, is probably the way we need to go, but um, also be with precaution, for sure. I think at the end of it, I mean, I think we'll We'll all be stronger from it, but it's going to take time. There's an old southern saying that goes, a frog doesn't know how far it can jump until it's been kicked. Our journey to Nashville began with my family trapped beneath an overpass during a tornado, but it ended under a burning red sky, watching our son jump through a puddle, and realizing that this is the first time he's ever done this.